Henry Ford once said that coming together is a beginning, staying together is a progress, and working together is a success. On this day, we had the chance to gather together with a growing group of friends to truly walk out the act of kindness and helping others. Not so we can gain the satisfaction of a reward, but rest in the knowing that we have helped to change your life. Tell me what your thoughts are about what it is we're doing here today. Why you gotta ask me questions when you're gonna make me cry? Aww. I felt like I have the time to be able to give back to the community, so that's why I'm here. I spent, we went to every single one of the sections, and I tried not to cry, because Hard. Well, I mean, we have a responsibility to give back to others, right? Yeah. We're less fortunate, so. Okay, so it's early in the morning. We are all jammed in this truck together. Look at, there's a sight. <laughs> what we're doing this morning, though, is we're doing a give back, and Todd and Sheila have set it up to where we go to, a, where, what are we going, like a food bank lover? Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to a food bank, and we're gonna organize all kinds of food to give back to those in need. And that's one thing that I think is incredible that we do here in this community is we just work with people like Todd and Sheila that set these things up. Love, like, I mean, it's kind of incredible, don't you yeah. think? Even though neither one of us felt like getting up so early this morning. No, 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 breakfast is not starting at 8.30. You gotta be there at 8.30 to work. <laughs> And for those of you that know Delin or remember this video right here, you'll know that lover is not a morning gal. But you know what? Uh, we're actually excited. I'm excited about it. I think it's gonna be awesome. And I'm I'm grateful to be able to get up and give back with these awesome people and do it together with this community because that's what we're here for. As we arrived at the New Braunfels Food Bank in Texas, we joined together with over 150 different RVers from all over the United States and even Canada. We couldn't help but observe this massive facility and wonder what exactly goes on here. After Todd introduced our group to the staff at the food bank, we learned that this was the largest group of volunteers they've ever had attend their food bank to help serve this community. The staff shared a little more about what goes on here and what we were going to do. They set us up into groups, divided out all the tasks, and we began to head out into all the different areas of this center. I'm going gardening. <laughs> that is 60 pounds of ground turkey. Wow. It's gonna feed 360, make 360 meals. So we've got uh, the senior community that we do Meals on Wheels for, and then we've got two uh, Head Start programs, one out in Sabine, one in New Braunfels, that come and pick up meals as well from us. Oh yay, I'm glad you found us. I borrowed Jennifer's camera to record, so I'm like, keeping it. Amongst all the weapons you got there? Because <laughs> we had to cut the cabbage heads off, pop them in here, and then take the rest of the root and go put it in the compost. So we needed these, but I'm making sure to clean up, you know. Clean up, clean up, everybody do your share. Scott, what's going on here, buddy? I'm just uh, playing in some gravel, man. Nice. And having some fun. All right, we're gonna go ahead and just dump some of this right there. Yeah, hit the corners first to hold the uh, top. We all began to learn that we were there for much more than just food preparation. As the line began to form around the building, we realized this was much larger than handing out canned goods to those in need, but that this food bank is a full-blown give-back center dedicated to help the broader community around them. This center has a full commercial kitchen, freezers, and refrigerators that look like you're in a grocery store, all the way down to raised gardening beds so they can plant, grow, and harvest fresh produce for their community. We were blown away at the amount of resource that they are truly providing.
the places that you could be on a weekend enjoying <laughs> RVing. <laughs> Here you find yourself serving at a food bank. Tell me what your thoughts are about what it is we're doing here today. Well, I mean, we have a re responsibility to give back to others, right? Yeah. We're less fortunate. So, in sitting here especially, made us realize just how fortunate we are, and it's our responsibility to give back. Wow, good perspective, man. I love it. Yeah. Thanks for serving today, buddy. You bet. You bet. Yeah, knuckles on the poison, maybe <laughs> next right. time. That's right, I didn't want to get to the poison. <laughs> so you could be anywhere this weekend in your RV, and you came here and are serving. Yes. What do you think about that? I think it's awesome. I think I want to volunteer when I go back to PA because I'm not going to be working because I retired early wow. in the nursing home. So I think I want to volunteer because there's many places at home I can do it. So tell me about your thoughts when you actually see all of what you have in here come oh to fruition gosh. and with the sheer amount of people that are here. Why you gotta ask me questions that are gonna make me cry? Aww. I think what's amazing is to just see that we're able to come together as a community and we're just being hands. Yeah. You know, the hands and feet. Oh man. Um, and we're just making a difference in the community that we come to. It's really something to see. It's also something to be a part of. What you guys are doing single-handedly is changing the industry, not because it's about RVing and right. getting out to go and explore and consume, but to get out, explore, and serve. Yeah, but we gotta get some milk. All right, get some milk, girl. Here we go. Okay, Martin. Yes, sir. Of all the things you could be doing at any given weekend, why here? Why would you come and serve? Well, first of all, it's a calling. I felt like I had the time to be able to give back to the community, so that's why I'm here. I love it. Man, that is just the heartbeat of so many people here, man. Thanks a lot, Mark. You bet. Time to get back to work. That's right. In all seriousness, yeah. right, you know, we goof around a lot. What is it like for you to come here, to put this together, yeah. and then actually see it come into fruition when there's literally hundreds of people serving it's not, because of the events that you and Sheila are creating. It, is, it isn't that you plan, when you start a journey, you don't plan for this. You plan to just like, you want to share life. And then I think when God opens doors and then he can use a group of people, it's amazing what can happen. We make video content and we put it out there, you and I, and there's lots of YouTube channels and we put it out there and people watch and stuff. But then as you're watching, as you're following along on the journey, and when it comes to like a live thing where we're here and we're physically touching and we're rubbing arm to arm and we're sweating right. and being cold, it's like a, a very humbling experience because it's not about Jason, it's not about Todd, it's not about Harold or any of the other YouTubers that are here. It's, it's about taking a group of collective people with that and then forming and doing something. Right, good. right. So it's humbling, it's a, a humbling thing. Well, I have to say as, as a friend of Todd, yeah. someone who's like, we've formed a relationship over the last year and a half. Yeah. It's been like an honor and a pleasure. And, oh, yeah. and just to be able to be a part of this journey, uh, it's really touching to come and see all of all the things that right. he and I have talked about behind the scenes actually coming to life. Yeah, and I know there's lots of channels and everybody's doing different things but when it's something that we physically put together and we do, it, that's, the, that's the crazy part. I cannot say enough amazing things about the people that have showed up in the hearts of the individuals that are here. It's pretty touching. I spent, we went to every single one of the sections and I tried not to cry because it's hard. Because yes. this fills the heart. Like yeah. this, and that and community fills the heart, so. Yeah. Yeah, this cool. makes your cup run over, buddy. Yeah, good job. Good. We're having like the philosophical life lessons that a garden teaches and how like we need this. Isn't we need it. The bonding that happens when you're working together in a garden. I know. There's really nothing quite like a garden, is there, lover? No, I mean like And getting dirty. Yes. I mean it's kind of fun that you have a real excuse. Right. To get your hands right in there and just like get messy and like get dirty and Yeah, you don't have any gloves on, lover. I know. I it's cuz I didn't want them. You want to feel the earth. Yeah. I like it. And the little brassy shoes. Now don't be munching on those, lover. I haven't. I ha I'm not going to 
<laughs> I'm saving it all for the people who need it. Get a little sample, a little broccoli nope. sample. I wanted to, I was tempted, but I'm not doing it. Elena, what are you doing? I'm killing things. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were supposed to be serving. We are. <laughs> you guys, I'm filming. I'm filming Delin serving. All these guys, look at all these cats serving and working. And I just thought, how in the world can I possibly stand by and just watch? So I gotta jump in, I've gotta serve and be a part of this just as much as anyone else because that is the satisfaction of it. Telling the story is one thing, actually grinding it out and serving with others, that is where the rubber meets the road. Now, lover. Yeah. Make sure that's broccoli and nothing else in those little green bags there. No, this is no, this is broccoli. this is kale. Okay, this is kale. And we're putting a recipe in for kale salad. Wow, sounds delightful. If there's vegetarians, then there should be meatitarians. And if I'm a meatitarian, you know what I say? Oh, kale, no. Kale, no, I ain't eating that. So if you agree with me, I need hashtag kale, no, down in the comments below. <laughs> and if you agree with me, kale, yeah! Kale, yeah! <laughs> we'll see who wins. So as important as all of this work is, this amazing crew of people didn't lose sight of just having fun while we all worked hard together. The hot and muggy Texas morning didn't slow us down a bit as all of us did our part to not only finish the task at hand, but do so with all our might. Well, thank you all for coming on up again and doing such great work. Uh, so the warehouse, we had two projects. We had a uh, box build and we had produce bag build. Uh, so, Box build, you guys serve uh, 864 families, packed over 19,000 pounds of food, guys. A produce build did an amazing job, just as amazing as the box build. You guys did 540 families, over 6,500 pounds of food. together for sorting, warehouse sorting and packing, 19 plus 65, you guys packed over 25,000 pounds of food. <laughs> no matter the social status that someone may carry, rich or poor, old or young, what neighborhood they may live in, political views or otherwise, we all deserve patience with one another moments to be watered and cared for, to be lifted up, to be handed the opportunity to grow into the fullest potential that we all were created for. I honor me.